And uh, just to let you know, we'll be speaking to the spokesperson of the ANC Youth League a little bit later on in the program, just about this campaign and uh, what they hope to achieve. Well, Black First Land First says it's taking its fight directly to the door of a major bank as well, a bank it accuses of moving billions of rand out of the country. The BLF has announced that its members will picket outside APSA branches on Saturday. The BLF say that Saturday's event is a follow-up to a summons served on Treasury last year demanding that Praveen Gordon answer allegations that he is biased when it comes to private firms. Black First, Land First wants a judicial commission to probe whether EPSA is liable for 26 billion rand allegedly stolen from Treasury. The BLF says it will stage pickets outside several EPSA bank branches this Saturday. The pick up is the first action. We are just here saying to, to APSA, watch, we are coming this Saturday. Then 27 on the 17th, we're going to a reserve bank. After, before the end of March, we're going back to APSA. Now we're going with a March. This is going to be a rolling action. And we'll announce other creative uh, actions we are going to take to make sure that APSA pays back this money. Mwitama says the BLF doesn't need to get permission to stage their pickets because numbers will be kept low. The BLF leader is firm that picketers won't interfere or disrupt those entering and exiting the banks. In an ongoing campaign against Finance Minister Pravin Gordon, it plans to march to the Reserve Bank on the 17th of February. South African banks are rotten and they are protected by the South African Reserve Bank, which, of course, we have Pravin, Pravin Godan on top. That's why they wanted him as minister, because he protects them. So, no, we are coming. In 2017, the BLF accused Gordon of being an agent of white capital and of being conflicted, demanding that he account for over 26 billion rand siphoned from state coffers. It also lodged an application with the High Court. Dumala Mushaudi, SABC News, Johannesburg.